<sighs> All right, I'm not gonna start this video off. Hey, what's up? It's Wolf here one and only. Today, I kind of want to just talk about Watch Dogs Legion. So I've been playing Watch Dogs Legion for like a couple of weeks now. Uh, I can't say I've been like actively playing it though. I've been playing it mostly on Twitch. If you guys, you know, follow me on there. Twitch.tv slash Wolf Knows No Bounds, which is saying. But this game, <laughs> I love it for all the wrong reasons. And it's not even just because of like the good story or anything like that, or good story, or whatever you want to, you know, throw on Wash Dogs Legion. It had a lot of capabilities, let's say that. It had a lot of potential, and I was just saying that it didn't tap into it. But in December the 18th, there's supposed to be multiplayer soon, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they work that in. I, I doubt it's going to be anything like totally amazing because Ubisoft always manages to fuck up multiplayer. I don't, I don't get how. Don't ask me. It's just Ubisoft. <laughs> I can say I'm going to be showing a couple of clips here. You know, quite a couple of ones of my Twitch experience. First off. Watch Dogs is easy, and I mean like easy to narrate over, commentate, you know, have fun with. Well, I've barely had a game to where I could just, you know, commentate and have fun in a while now, instead of just, you know, like sitting there chilling playing the game overall. Back up, back up. Thank you. Okay, out. Well, see, you see, I told you to back up, dude. That's your own fault. You'll end up in this fucking ambulance at the end of the day. <laughs> I already know. You know, there are some pretty uh, stupid ones as well. As in, you shoot a taser, and apparently it makes a gun noise to where it alerts the cops. How? How? All units, I repeat, all units. We have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Let's keep this first off. Over. All I did was shoot once. <laughs> the next reason is the fact that some of the AI really don't act right. Like they start acting up and then they just get tired of it to the point where they just want to end their own lives as well. <laughs> Didn't even shoot a person. Just he's hostile. Shot a taser. <laughs> Negative. No sign of suspect. Over. <laughs> he, 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 he jumped off the fucking edge. <laughs> Bruh. And they sent the replacement. And also, can we talk about the fact that these cops are a whole different breed inside of this game? Like, GTA cops weren't this fucking advanced. They literally come to your exact location where you're hiding. Every time. It, it doesn't matter where you are. They will literally come to your location. They would just like, ah, I smell them over here. In the cop chase, Psst, forget about it. Good luck trying to get away. You can spend like fucking hours trying to get rid of the three cops that's behind you. You can just make some kind of amazing, boom, pull up, I escaped, and three more motherfuckers come down the fucking road. It's just like, I, I don't understand, dude. Why was we make the AI so advanced to where a cop a chase lasts for like at least 20 to 30 minutes because that's one of the chases i have i don't i haven't even you know highlighted that scene of me just going on a cop chase for like 10 to 20 minutes trying to get away but i do have the, ne the next part of that clip that you guys saw that uh guy jump off yeah you saw him jump off now watch what happens as soon as he jumps off watch watch what is utter ai cop the replacement the the Terminator dude that just sent in that has sensor or whatever the hell the kind of cop they sent in to where he could just since the hell out of me know where I am. Search the area. You should show you should search your buddy who just fucking committed suicide for no reason. Oh god. Damn it, this is fucking asshole. Fuck you, dude. Fuck up. Come here. <laughs> I was almost out of 
Like, just leave it to him to search right here of all places. So I'm curious. Did any of y'all look at the bottom left? During that whole scene? Nobody? Okay, I'll show you again. They sent the whole new cop right after I took out the, the one that just found me. This is how it is. As, as long as you're being hunted, there is an infinite cop spawn. It doesn't matter if you stealth kill a cop, you know, and they don't know where it was. They'll know where it was. That, that's the insane thing. You can stealth kill. But it'll increase your uh, your hostility, your little stars you got up there. You can have one star, you know, and one call is coming over you. Boom, boom, take down. And then it's just like, oh, wow. We sensed it. Yeah, we know somehow you killed one of our cops, even though it was a stealth kill, you know? Somehow that equals uh, being back on the cop even if it's going down it's going down to that little little smidge of blue to where you're almost out if that cop gets taken down or anything that shit goes back up to red it doesn't matter you killed him that is, that's two stars done <laughs> like excuse me you you want to talk about that <sighs> Usha. okay so this next little clip, I want you to tell me if it makes any sense to you. Because I don't know what just went on during this whole clip. This confused the hell out of me. But basically give you a summary, I'm supposed to be using this cargo drone to take this little cargo and deliver it to the other side of the street. Now you guys tell me what you feel about this dialogue because I'm just as confused as any of you guys are about to be. Okay, so I can just keep summoning it as much as I want. That's nice. <laughs> Mine now, sucker. Oi, get out of here. I got the server loaded into your ride. Oi, huh? don't drive like a dickhead. Wouldn't want you to blow it up. Don't worry, I passed my driving test with flying colors. Wait, what? I'm confused. What the fuck just happened during that dot? Huh? The what the fuck just happened? That whole interaction made no absolute fucking sense at all, and I have multiple questions of what the fuck. Now, don't get me wrong. All, all this little bad and glitch stuff that you guys are like experiencing right now. I love it. It's hilarious. It's, it's something unexpected. It's Skyrim level glitches or random dialogue. I don't even know what the hell just went on there. I'm, I'm going to be serious with you. That character you saw deliver the cargo was my character. And the character she was talking to is another character that you get through, you know, just playing a normal story. And, you know, it's probably random for you, but, you know, that was one of the characters I got. So, yeah, both of my agents just communicating with each other. And I guess their dialogue just didn't mix. And I don't even know what the fuck the, the constructor one I had was even talking about. But somehow towards the end, they just came to a weird consistent and it just abruptly ended. <laughs> but there is also something else that I, you know, just can't get enough of. And that is, and just seeing what, you know, the everyday normal AI does, especially when you intentionally try and piss them off. Now you get to go nowhere. Worthless. You got a problem with me? I'm like, what's up? I'm warning you. She started it. You guys all, <laughs> you all saw that she started it. <laughs> I did nothing. I was just sitting there. And <laughs> how dare she? Injured. Like, <laughs> not Spooter. Jump off this building. Hey, you! 
<laughs> Can't stop me, can you? <laughs> I'm too fast for you. <laughs> oh no. Hello. Right. Fan out and find the target. Yeah. Bitch. Someone shut down that spider thing. Damn. No. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard, how could you? He was only playing, you you jerk. I just enjoy messing with AI just to see if they actually learn anything or, you know, if they're smarter than me. <laughs> Most of the time, they are not. <laughs> but also, some of them are very hostile towards me, dude. Even when I comply, they're like, what the heck, man? I... I was just having fun with my cargo drone, just, you know, collecting some skill points, you know, you know, doing the old flying and cheese strat, just collecting every last skill point I could find. And you know what? This is how they treat me. This area's off limits. Okay, fine. I won't hesitate to shoot you. Calm down, dude. I'm leaving now, right, dude? Fuck you. Fuck you. I got the all. They all technically didn't take a liking to me at all, dude. All right, guys, I'm coming back for another one. <laughs> Need to talk to you guys for a second. Can you guys give me the fucking skill points you got in there? You all don't think I'll risk my life for it, do you? It's... Little do you know. I'm insane. <laughs> They're mine, I got it. <laughs> it was definitely nothing. Take off. <laughs> You'll never get it back now. These skill points are mine. <laughs> no one can have these skill points. You <laughs> look at him, he's just still sitting so, from so far away. He's just like, I can't leave my post. God damn it, he got away. And the most fun thing I enjoy the most is probably the cargo drone, just because you can ride on it. Uh, that is probably the most fun drone in the game, for sure. And I'm not even joking. If you, if you think I'm joking, get yourself a cargo drone and you tell me how much fun it is. Mm. It's a whole new different experience, especially we can just do all everything you want and get away from chaos, except for the drones that come after you. But still, the cops can't do shit about it, you know? They're on the ground. You can just get rid of the drones. That's the easiest way to escape, really. Except for invisibility, but you know, most of the time you're carrying the poor spider bot. But here's another reason why I just, you know, love the cargo drone. Ah, fucker. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Look what you did, dude. I'm gonna need your license and insurance. License and insurance. To stop. Saw nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you had me. You have no evidence. That's the last hacker overriding a drone. Please respond. <laughs> it's not overriding. It's mine. What the fuck, bro?
<laughs> I did nothing Collective. wrong. No visual of the I told her a license and she didn't give me her license, so it's it's her fault. Blame her. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> the fuck, dude. I I will admit this. Watch Dogs Legion is better than, you know, two in a way. But then again, everybody loved one and two in their own way. I think my favorite one really was pretty much one, just because it was a lot more interesting. It had a lot more like, you know, it, it had a better skill tree. It had a longer skill tree to where I can enjoy everything. And not this, you know, little small skill tree the, that Legion has, you know. And not only that, let's talk about the way the whole world uh, is set up and the whole NPCs, most of them aren't need anything special. The most special NPCs are the ones that you get from just doing these red missions. Like, that's not realistic at all. You know, you never know if you can run into like some kind of like really unique stat people on the street somewhere. All of them are just this huge big achievement for clearing a region. What? We, we just can't find that one, those few unique ones, you know, out in the world just walking around or something. Like, that's the thing that threw me off. I was searching like so many people. I've searched like at least a hundred people or a thousand at least. And none of them are extremely unique, really. Even for being like randomly generated. I'm sitting here like, dude, there has to be something above this. And not only that, I the funnest character I would say in the game is the one that <laughs> that uh hypno hypnotic the hypnotic characters. The one that hypnotizes people to do their bidding and fight others. That that's the funnest one. If you get him, have fun with him. He he has ridiculous range for his hypno crap in <laughs> once they're hypnotized. They don't stop until they're dead, pretty much. Now I'm pretty no, I'm pretty sure they die after the time limit's up, which is, makes it so much OP. Just because if you're in the base, you can just hypnotize somebody, and they'll just go around fighting everybody for you. That's the most OP character there. But sadly, my hypno character died as soon as I got in the car, and it exploded. So I can't have fun with it anymore. But I'm gonna end it off here because <laughs> I'm out of clips for now. If you guys want, you know, more videos like this, do leave a like, tell me you enjoyed it, and, you know, maybe I'll just break down some more games just that, that I, like, played just to enjoy. <sighs> if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch yet, yeah, I mean, you guys can, you know, go ahead and slide over there and ignore my hair. I haven't, I haven't put the stuff back into it just to fix it or anything. Not yet, at least, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.